Relationship Advice. This one is an update to a story from a few days ago. Link in the description. Update. Discovered my wife's, now ex, affair the day she was admitted into hospital, now years later she can't accept my engagement to my fiancé. Shout out to Mama 202045. Wow didn't expect this type of response, thank you all so much for your support and kind words both for me, my fiancé and my ex. It's sad that my situation with my ex and her abusive past isn't as uncommon as I thought, reading some of your similar cases really makes one almost lose hope, but glad to see some people have recovered from them. Now for what has happened since my first post. First off, a big thank you to user mama202045 for your simple, yet amazing, advice saved us a lot of trouble. Now on to what has happened so far. Since my last post my son's birthday was coming up, and he told us he wanted to have a camp night for it. Now I must explain the boy absolutely loves the outdoors. Everything from camping to hiking, to even playing in rivers are his favorite, and obviously due to the ongoing situation, we cannot go to our usual spots, so I offered my backyard for it. Another request he had was for my ex to sleep over as well, he wanted to imitate a scene from one of his kid adventure shows, where both parents are sitting on either sides of the child, and all three are roasting marshmallows on the campfire. Now I had absolutely no intention of denying my son's birthday wishes, but at the same time, I couldn't have my ex sleep in the same tent as me and my son, that would be far too disrespectful to my fiancé. Even though she said she understood, it was clear she wasn't okay with it. My ex seemed to take advantage of this and kept saying how much she was looking forward to spending the night with her two men, and even went as far as to buy a whole lot of camping equipment that would put Bear girls to shame. She was certainly trying to rub it in my fiancé's face, and wasn't graceful about it either. I had to tell her to stop a couple of times, but she only relented when I threatened to invite her sister. Ever since our divorce, my ex has had a burning hatred for her sister, she, my ex, acknowledges her role in the destruction of our marriage, but blames her sister for encouraging the affair and not safeguarding her from making choices that would ruin hers, but more importantly, according to her, our life together, it's gotten so bad that she refuses to let her sister spend any significant amount of time with our son, which at one point caused my ex-sister-in-law to have severe depression. My ex-sister-in-law has been trying for years to reconcile with her sister, but it just seems to get worse as time goes on. A Redditor Mama202045 offered me a simple and effective solution. She suggested I go out and purchase a multi-roomed tent, that way my fiancé could be included. I wasted no time and immediately went out to get one. Of course my ex wasn't too happy about that, but was glad to be under the same roof as me. During the birthday celebration my son was on cloud 9, he ran around the yard and pretended he was a great explorer discovering a new land. When evening came, I made the fire and my ex provided the marshmallows. He excitingly sat between us and started roasting his marshmallow alongside us. What I didn't expect was, after we were done taking pictures and making s'mores, he handed my fiancé a stick and a marshmallow as well and sat next to her to make his second s'more. It's honestly a mystery how something this pure and perfect could come out of the absolute mess that was the relationship between me and my ex. My ex asked for a bit of my time to which I obliged, we stepped into the kitchen and she apologized for her behavior on the day that I proposed but not for her actions following that. She told me she still sees me as her husband in her mind, so the thought of me giving my heart to another terrified her, she said she never wanted to cause me pain, and would give anything to go back in time and undo her mistakes. She mentioned how happy she was when the paternity test showed that I was the father, because she thought it was a new beginning for us, and that he was proof of our love. I thanked her for the courage to share all this, but told her I was happy with where I am in life and with whom I am with but hoped she would find someone to make her happy as well. She said she meant what she told on the day we divorced, and will wait for me. I left the kitchen feeling exhausted, because none of what I was trying to say got through to her. We decided to call it a night where me and my fiancé slept in one room of a tent, and my ex with my son in another. All in all, a good birthday for my son but not so good night for me. That's things so far and promise to update if anything major happens. Now for the top advice of this post. One suggestion here. Never ever, be alone with your ex, make sure any interactions with her include one of your adult friends, family members or fiancé. Her mindset is, you belong to her and she will go to any lengths to torpedo your relationship, and get you back. After what she told you in the kitchen, I would record every conversation with her just to cover my own butt. Having a child with her, means years of dealing with her, so cover you own A and have an awesome life. I also am dealing with my boyfriend's ex trying to torpedo our relationship. 
because she realizes how bad she messed up seven years ago. Trying to hit him up with the whole, we should be together because of our daughter. I've already warned him, he is not to spend any time around her, or I will take that as he doesn't value a relationship or me. Exes that cheat and then pull the victim card are absolutely disgusting humans. I think I will be taking this suggestion, one thing I forgot to add is that she still has her old engagement and wedding rings. She often wears them when she's out running errands or back at her parents place, she doesn't wear them at my place because I told her the sight of them reminds me of the pain in the past. You may want to avoid one-on-one -on -one interactions with her as much as you can. Nowhere in her speech does she acknowledge the new woman in your life, and she still seems hung up on the idea that you can possibly get back together, waiting for you. Just be careful in your interactions. I noticed that as well, it's like his fiance doesn't exist in her mind and it's only a matter of time until she reconciles with him. That's a dangerous mindset to have. Zero sympathy for your ex. She is despicable. You can have sympathy while still creating and holding healthy boundaries. Boundaries without bitterness is a pretty good motto when dealing with people like this. Now for the next story. Update. I stopped talking to my best friend, after she told my boyfriend she likes him, and I don't know what to do. Original story. For context, so, me and this friend had a crush on the same person, we'll call this friend Maria, and after talking for quite some time, he and I started liking each other. I had known she had a crush on him before, but she had reassured me she didn't like him like that anymore, and even started dating other men. Even right before I decided to take a chance with my now boyfriend, I had asked her if she had any feelings for him and if she was okay with it. She reassured me and even promised me she had no problem with it. After being in a toxic relationship, my new relationship made me incredibly happy and I was visibly happier. I noticed that Maria was becoming very distant towards me and become a lot colder. I tried asking her about it, and she told me it was nothing, and didn't want to speak about it any further. I left it alone as I didn't want to bother her. One night, at around 11 p.m., she had messaged me and the conversation went as followed. Maria, hey we need to talk. Me, oh sure, what's up? Maria, I still like your boyfriend, and I know I told you I didn't, but I just wanted to put my feelings aside for you. I'm going to tell him I have feelings for him. I was shocked, as I had stated, she had been dating other guys and had told me multiple times she no longer had feelings for him. I told her it was fine, but I asked her why now. She basically told me she had always put my feelings first and not her own, and needed to put herself first this time. I was hurt. I had always done my best to be there for her, even when she spoke about the same things. She even told me that the only person she considered to be a true friend, had been a girl she had recently spoken very badly about. At this point, I was shaking. I didn't understand why she would say that and started crying when she said she didn't know what would happen to your relationship after I tell him I like him. My boyfriend came to me straight away after she told him and he asked what happened, as he saw I was upset. I told him what had happened and he reassured me nothing would happen. I stopped talking to her straight after and so did he. Now, the reason why I'm posting this is because Maria recently reached out to me, apologizing for what she did. But her apology was iffy to me. It basically was I'm sorry you feel that way and I was tired of being selfless, I told her I was still hurt and she said she understood. She's tried reaching out to my boyfriend a couple of times as well, asking if I was okay. I don't know if I'm being dramatic or unreasonable. I'm just hurt by all this. Now for the top advice. Actions speak louder than words i.e. your boyfriend came to talk to you about what's going on and that's awesome. I had to learn the hard way that any apology that included, I'm sorry you, is not an apology. Learn from my mistakes and know that there are much better friends out there that will support you instead of blaming you for their wrongs. I had a similar thing happen to me. This friend got super obsessed with my boyfriend and how well he treated me, that she started fantasizing about her and my BF. She told me how he deserves better, someone who loves him irrevocably. She slid in his DMs and confessed. We are no longer friends. This is not okay. Your friend tried to sabotage your relationship even though she knew about your toxic past and how good this relationship is for you. And the apology seems a bit shady to me. Do yourself a favor and cut her off. I'm sorry but what? She basically told me she had always put my feelings first and not her own, and needed to put herself first this time. Okay, this BS she stammered out doesn't make any sense. Maria could have easily asked the guy out before you if she wanted to, what did she expect? For him to be single for her? Also, 
the I'm going to tell him I have feelings for him part is ridiculous. What is he going to do, automatically dump you for her? Girl needs to get over herself. Her apology is half-assed and she's probably only apologizing to save face or her stupid plan of confessing backfired on her so now she's trying to salvage the friendship. You aren't being dramatic op, the only one thinking she's in some rom-com fantasy land is Maria. I say drop her from being a friend, she's only going to grow and resent your relationship, she's not contributing anything good to this friendship. I think she absolutely believed he would dump OP for her. She even told Get she didn't know what would happen to your relationship once she told him. LMFAO she totally thought he would get with her. Maria is disrespectful and delusional. Cut her off completely. Tell her your friendship is over and she is now free to put herself first, because there is nobody else around anyway. She first lied about to you about her feelings and then she tried to sabotage your relationship. She actually thought that all she had to do was confess to him and he would immediately dump you and say, finally. Maria wants me. Huh? What the f was she even thinking? That the reason he was with you was because she hadn't told him she liked him, and now they could finally be together? And your boyfriend needs to tell her to stop texting him altogether. She is fake concerned about you as an excuse to keep communication with him. Now for the update. This is an update to a post I made a few days ago, and I just wanted to say thank you to all the people who took the time out of their day to comment advice and be supportive. I took the advice and had a talk with my boyfriend about her, and what I thought about everything, neither of us had blocked her yet, but we didn't speak to her. He immediately told me he'd do whatever it is I wanted to make sure I'd heal from that betrayal, so we both agreed we wouldn't speak to her anymore and essentially cut her off. I also explained to him a detail I forgot to mention in my last post. She had spoken badly about me before, and I found out about it. We stopped speaking for a few months before I chose to forgive her. I shouldn't have been that surprised by her actions but they hurt nonetheless, as I thought our friendship was stronger than ever. I'm glad this happened as it made me realize how little our friendship meant to her, and allowed me to move on. My ex-friend and I used Instagram as our main source of communication. She deleted her account altogether. So I didn't get the opportunity to tell her that our friendship was broken, and I'd probably never forgive her for this. But I'm happy I don't have to deal with her drama anymore. This really hurt me. Again, thank you so much for the advice and support. It helped tremendously. Now let's read some comments. Some bridges are meant to be burned. I'm happy you don't have to deal with her anymore. Don't be distraught at the missed opportunity to tell her that your friendship was broken. She already knows. In fact, I bet dollars to donuts that she deleted the account to see just how far you will go to get back in touch. Don't do it. In this situation, the best message you can send, is by not sending one. Just keep on doing what you're doing in life. I'd also bet that after not trying to get in touch, within a month or two, she's going to try to reach out with apologies. It'll be up to you at that time to decide whether her apologies are crocodile tears, or actual tears. My personal opinion? You're better off without her. Every action in your original story stinks of jealousy and deception on her part. But to be fair, I haven't heard her story either. But I tend to lean on your original account. I guess the trash took herself out, LMAO. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.